what's going on YouTube. Uh, gentleman uh, Michael Yates uh, asked a question about S&Ps holding up and I opened up the chart and lo and behold what I saw right away was this daily candle. <clears throat> uh, maybe not a true hanging man but very very close. Um, it's like a hammer on a bottom, but hanging man's on the top. So <clears throat> it um, it opens, goes all the way down, looks very bearish, and then climbs all the way back up, leaving a long tail. And it's just a a toppling effect. Um, it's trying to gather its legs, but it can't. Um, the other thing is, real quick, we had these lower highs, right? And then we have, just take this a little step further. And what I'm seeing here is a failure. A failure to reach its equilibrium at the resistance. Um, quite possibly if you open up some indicators, maybe an RSI or something like that, you can see how it would fail on the RSI or any other kind of indicator. Um, just, <clears throat> just by sight, you can tell the elasticity of this is weak. Uh, the rubber band was stretched and it could not, when it's being released, when it's, when the force is being released, it could not reach the top is how I kind of interpret it. But so that's number two, why it's going down. The failure and this candle, that's a, that's a beautiful candle. Maybe it's not perfect. Uh, but it's similar to this falling star that we witnessed. Um, it's just another bearish candle. You have an indecision, and you have a top, spinning top here. Uh, indecision. And indecision is when, when it opens and closes at the same. Um, you can call it some other things, but um, it's just an indecision. Open and closes at the same spot. So <clears throat> right here, basically indecision whether or not it's going to go up or down. This is the decision maker. Uh, we'll see how it opens. Uh, thank you Michael Yates for uh, making making me aware of the close because I did the previous video a little bit early um, but I thought I saw everything I needed to and now that I'm re-looking at this S&P um, that's a hanging man and it doesn't bode well. Uh, number two is it failed to reach its, its natural point of destination. And um, looking at a long term, <clears throat> so on the weekly it's making that hanging man too. But um, that doesn't matter until the end of the week because it's a weekly chart, but it's just a really, really long way down. And there's no support holding it up on this. So number three would be, there's no support when it comes down. To there, <clears throat> it's gonna be a, it's like the knife slicing the, the sharp knife slicing the piece of paper, you know? It's just very, the angle is just very sharp and the, the price is just gonna fall through. Um, uh, Michael Yates called it a, a, a wedge and you can see that, I guess. And um, it just doesn't look good. Let's uh, target this thing at 1950. So 100 points down, 
on the S&P is a thousand points for the Dow. So a derivative of each other. Look for a hundred points down on the S&P. Maybe hit and run. Um, but it's going to be a slicing effect. It's just going to slice right through. So first target 1950. Um, other than that. We take a target of this whole pattern on the top, <clears throat> and it's two and a half times from its bottom. So, I don't know, 21 to 18, that's another 300, that's another 3,000 points. So, <clears throat> wow, that's a, that's a big fall. Um, I don't know what to say. It's gonna be um, it's gonna be pretty bad. All right, well that's it. Um, thank you, uh, Michael Yates, for the question <clears throat> or the um, inquiry. That is a hanging man candlestick, and just by using candlesticks, you can tell the story. The candlesticks tell the story. It's, the story is told before the media um, tells it. If that makes sense. The chart happens and tells the story before the media writes about it. So think of it that way. You can use indicators, but it's the technical analysis on chart reading with candlesticks is um, very efficient and you can follow the probabilities much easier and faster. So there you have it. Thank you. Uh, let me know what's going on out there. Thanks for watching.